Okay, so we've got just a little rake wall. They're nine foot walls with a 412 on top of it. So nothing too crazy. Let me just run you through layout real quick. So we always want to cut our studs to the sharp of the bevel. That means we lay out on the long side, X downhill. King stud trimmers, just like normal. In this case, I was able to lay out center of the wall because I have solid material below me. So all of those layout marks, we enter as the run in our calculator. Come up here, so let's just say it was, let's just say it's 24 and 3 quarters. So let's say it's 24 and 3 quarters. As the, let's say it's 24 and 3 quarters, we just enter that as the run, the slope of the roof, and it tells us the diagonal. And that's how we lay out the underside. So typically what we'll do is we'll lay out one middle stud and then calculate the diagonal and go each direction. Same thing, if it was six foot to the long point of your king, then six foot run 412, click diagonal, and we're laying out the underside. Math never lies. Okay, so here's how I do it. Here's my calculator. Let's just say that it's six foot along the plate. I enter that as the run. 412 pitch when I click diagonal. Oops. Why is it doing that? Try this again. Okay, so let's say it was six foot along the plates from the corner to what is the long point. And that way we always cut to our long point. So six foot run, four inch pitch, diagonal. So 75 and 7 eighths, that's what we measure along the underside of the plate. Simple, simple triangle. And then same thing for the stud. If I was laying out from one side, I know my stud is at 48 inches to the middle, 48 and three quarters. That's the run, four inch pitch, diagonal. That's how far I measure up to the long point. Now to, to lay out all the rest of them, I go 24 inch run, since we're on 24 centers. Click diagonal, 25 and five. If I store that, now if I just keep adding to it, then there's all of our, if we were to lay out the underside of the plate. So that's how we did that wall. We laid out the long point, so whatever it is on the run, just hit diagonal in your calculator. Same thing on the other side. So we do that for all of our kings, and then we do a middle stud, and then we lay out both ways on the underside of the plate. And then that layout perfectly matches. So on the bottom, it's horizontal and on the top it's diagonal.